Good, Good morning, morning, Gators. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Shaglinda. It's Friday, March 14th. And, and you're watching KGTR. Stephanie, did you know that it's finally springtime? And do you know what that means? What? Baseball season. Let's go to Cami to get caught up on all of our springtime sports. Hey Gators, let's take a look at sports here in the Swamp. We're off to a rough start right now, but we have a lot of talent to put the pieces together to make our run in another district title. Make sure to come out and support them at their next game. Along with baseball, the softball ladies have been working extremely hard. This season's going to go really well this year with both seniors because we've put a lot of work into it. We've been together for four years and we're really excited to play. They have games every Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you're there. It's also lacrosse season here in the Swamp. The lacrosse team is a little bit different this year because this is the first time they've ever had a teacher sponsor to help them out with the season. Deciding to play Captain Street Lacrosse was a good decision because I'm new here and it helped me make a lot of good friends. Make sure to come out to their next game. Well, that's all of sports for today, Gators. Until next time, this is Cami. Now back to Stephanie and Shaglinda. Are you a hard worker? Do you enjoy working with others? Are you willing to capture the exciting moments that will serve as high school memories for students? If so, KGTR is the place for you. KGTR applications are now available in Ms. Barclay's room A108. All applications are due by Friday, April 11th. All KGTR staff members must have at least a 2.5 GPA. Applicants must have a strong desire to creatively cover school events such as sporting events, dances, and other activities occurring around the swamp. Also, applicants must currently be either a sophomore or junior. KGTR staff members must be dependable and trustworthy. Therefore, teacher recommendations are an important part to your application and could be the deciding factor to your acceptance. Remember, applications are due Friday, April 11th, and they are available in Ms. Barclay's room, room A108. Being a part of the KGTR team will help you create some of the best memories of your high school years. What's wrong, Stephanie? I'm just so stressed out about the ACT. I bet Reagan could help you out with all of your questions about the ACT. Hey Gators, I'm Reagan and today we will learn about the ACT. All juniors will take the ACT on March 18th and seniors have the option to retake this test on that day. Certain scores on the ACT can earn you extra money for college. The Taylor Opportunity Program for Students, commonly known as TOPS, awards stipends for ACT scores and certain GPAs. A stipend is an extra allowance for money. So what qualifies you for a stipend? A 20 on your ACT with a 2.50 GPA gets a percent of your tuition paid for. A 23 on your ACT with a 3.00 GPA gets a percent of your tuition paid for and $400. A 27 on your ACT with a 3.00 GPA gets a percent of your tuition paid for and an extra $800 per year. You may be asking what to do with all this money. Well, here's an idea. On average, books and supplies are $1,250 per year. Housing and meals are $9,998 per year. Tuition and fees are $8,393 per year. So, in total, on average, you spend about $19,641. A stipend of $800 would make your books and supplies around $450. for the ACT by getting a good night's sleep and doing some work on Khan Academy. To prepare for the ACT, yes, you need a good night's sleep the night before. Wake up, eat a good breakfast. Um, be sure to come to school prepared. Have your calculator with you. Um, you know, just, just ready. It's a long test and it's a difficult test, so be prepared for that. 
Thank you, now you know how to prepare. The ACT is a great way to show your knowledge on a national rank, even if you don't plan on going to college. Now back to Stephanie and Shuglinda. Have a great day, Gators. Thanks, Reagan. That was really helpful. What was that for? I'm just getting into the St. Patrick's Day spirit. You know, pinching wasn't even part of the original St. Patrick's Day tradition. Well, where did it come from? I bet Mary Catherine can tell us. In case you didn't know, St. Patrick's Day is on Monday, March 17th, and I know that all of you will be wearing your green, but do you know why? Um, I don't really know. I'm guessing it has something to do with the four-leaf clover that's green. So we don't get pinched. What none of these students knew is that St. Patrick's Day is a day of feasting to celebrate the bringing of Christianity to Ireland by St. Patrick. In fact, the original color of St. Patrick's Day wasn't even green, it was blue. Well, blue my favorite color, so I understand that, so it's good. I ain't know that. And so, like, you know, probably they did blue because they're sad. <laughs> the color green was adopted by the people who wore shamrocks, or three-leaf clovers, to represent the Holy Trinity. Today, St. Patrick's Day is observed by many Christian religions all across the world. However, Ireland celebrates St. Patrick for more than just bringing Christianity to their land. St. Patrick is also celebrated in Ireland from driving the snakes out of their land and into the sea. To this day, Ireland still remains snake-free. I'm Mary Catherine. Now back to Stephanie and Shaglinda. Endless Summer Tanning. At Endless Summer Tanning, we offer fantastic staff that is committed to you 100%. With a wide variety of tanning lotion and skin care products, many different tanning beds are offered so you never have to leave unsatisfied. Beds like Level 1, 2, Spray Tanning, the Hydro Massage, and Teeth Whitening. Also, if you take a snap with the Endless Summer Tanning Truck, you get a free month of tanning. With prom just around the corner, don't procrastinate and come on in to Endless Summer Tanning, located at 635 Burt King's Industrial Loop, number 400, Shreveport, Louisiana, open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. through 9 p.m., Saturday, 9 through 6, and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Well, that's all for today, Gators. We'd like to say thank you to our sponsors. Southern Classic Chicken, Thomas and Thomas, The Chopin Family, The Feaster Family, and McAllister's Deli. Don't forget to wear green on Monday. Have a great weekend, and, and thanks for watching KGTR.